The latest build of Darkroom Booth 2 has a new feature called Slideshow. You also notice that the menus changed a little bit since we've been adding things to it recently. So if you open up Booth and you go to Slideshow, you'll see we have a couple options. Uh, the default is off, no Slideshow. We also have a basic or simple mode which will run a slideshow of your uh, printed templates on a second monitor if you have a second monitor present. If you don't have a second monitor we will show the slideshow when the booth is idle what we uh, sometimes call a track mode. So that's a pretty cool feature right there you can just turn that on or off and it just happens automatically. Now if you really want to go crazy we have a custom mode and you're gonna see a lot of options in here it's really powerful but there's some really cool things you can do. So when you go to custom mode, maybe we should call it advanced, you can turn slideshow on or off, and now you've got lots of control. How, uh, this is how long to show each slide. You can have navigation control, so if you have a touch screen, people can swipe forward and backwards. Uh, we can do transition effects between uh, the slides, and you'll see we've got a couple. We've got a slide and a dissolve for now. We can have background music, um, and this would come into play if you're running the slideshow on a different computer. If it's on your main booth computer, we'll just use the music that might be in your template already. Uh, here you can have it show only recent images, how the maximum width and height, um, here's some text. Um, we also have options on where to, to display it. If you have a secondary monitor, we'll automatically put it on that second monitor. If you don't, you just have a single monitor, you can um, set up attract mode, and this is the text prompting them to exit. In my case, it just says click to continue, and if they touch the screen, they will go into booth mode. Um, an advanced feature is you can have it just generate the slideshow to disk. We do the slideshow as an HTML file and if you click this button it'll show you where the HTML file is and you could share that on a network for example and since it's HTML you could show the slideshow on anything with a browser so it could be a tablet, could be an uh, iPad, uh, even could be an iPhone, Android tablet, an old computer um, so there's really a lot of options there um, or if you have a really complicated setup with you know three or four monitors you can open the slideshow in a browser and go full screen on that one monitor or maybe you're hooked up to a projector so a lot of power there if you want to do a lot of different uh, photos on the screen at the same time we can do rows and columns so in this case you would have nine photos on the screen at once and by default all nine you would get nine images at a time and then after a certain number of you know whatever you have here you would get another nine images if you want we can advance one image at a time so that uh, an image would stay on there essentially through nine transitions in this case so pretty cool feature now we can get even more powerful you can show just the original the original photos or the output strips or we can throw in images from other folders as well as survey results. And where this gets really crazy is that now we can put these into other templates. So if you want to go with a completely different template than what you're printing or what you're emailing or posting to Facebook, you can do that here. And Darkroom is smart enough that if you, let's say you're taking four images per booth session, if your template only has one image, we're going to throw the images in that. If your template has four images, we'll put all four images from the session in there. Um, and we're going to have some other videos and samples to show you just how powerful it can be throwing these into templates. There's some really cool things you can do. Um, but for now, this is pretty straightforward. Um, and again, if you wanted to have um, other images that you're mixing in, so maybe these are advertisements or promotions or... Um, you know, if it was a wedding, maybe these are some of the images from the um, uh, the wedding or the uh, engagement shoot. 
Um, and again, you can tell it how many of those images. You can say, hey, I want an image in there every, you know, say 10 frames or 20 frames. And again, we can take those images and we can put those into one of Darkroom's templates. So you can really um, do some amazing things here. Um, and then same with the uh, survey results. You can have, if you're doing a quiz or survey, you can show those on the screen. And, you, and again, you can have that just every once in a while. Um, so you really make it kind of an entertaining slideshow. So that is an overview of slideshow. And uh, again, that's available in the latest build of Booth 2.